Welcome back, and today we're going to be looking at this. This is Lonely Heart, The Art of Tara McPherson. It's a great hardcover art book. Quite small, um, but nice. Perfectly formed, I would say. Um, and it features the art of US-based artist Tara McPherson. It's the first in a series of art books that she's published. Um, it is published by DH Press. You can see that. I think it came out in about 2006. Yeah. dhpressbooks.com It features art from the artist on the front and the back covers. really like that back one in particular. Um, I like the colours as well. There's a lot of, lot of pastel-y colours that she uses and sort of pinks as, and, as in her art and that's obviously been built into the sort of cover design. Let's have a wee look. Yeah, it's first published in June 2006, this one. Now the second volume and the third volume are also out. They were published in subsequent years, I think 2011 and 2012, something around there. Um, but they've all gone a bit out of print. So they're actually, yeah, they're slightly hard to find. I haven't got a copy of the third volume for that reason, um, because they're starting to go for silly prices online, but I'm looking out for it. Um, I might review the second book, incidentally, um, at some, a later date after this one. I love her artwork, I'll start by saying that. Uh, her style is like a, a modern pop artist um, and she does a lot of, sort of posters for bands. That's the kind of the area of her work, her output that I like the most. Uh, if you go to her website, just taramcpherson.com, you can see kind of a preview of everything uh, that she does, including a lot of samples of her prints uh, and her posters fine art so check that out because it's a really good website anyway I've actually got it on in the background over there so yeah let's have a look inside anyway I've been waffling and we're eager to look inside aren't we so let's do that so here we are this is acrylic on birch. So they give you an idea of the size of the original seven inch by nine inch. That was done in 2003. It's called Variations on Cherry Blossoms. Quite a few of these pieces of work are, um, it might at first glance look repetitive. They are variations on a specific theme, but it's all good. Here's a forward by Frank Kozik, talking about the artist, um, I think being born in Los Angeles, um, breaking through and uh, kind of how she broke onto the scene with her style of art and I think she now is based in New York. Um, but I can't claim to know a great deal about the artist but I do love her work. So here we go, this one's Lonely Hearts Gang Part 2, Lonely Hearts Gang Part 1. There's a lot of yeah, recurring themes where hearts have been removed from the body and you can actually see through. So yeah, there's, a, there's often a darkness to each other pieces of artwork yeah with a slightly troubling message anyway I won't try and psychoanalyze each piece I'll just show you the art I will mention that sometimes you get these kind of like sheets of like tracing paper with a design on I really like that very cool wine and dine so this first section um, incidentally, I didn't mention, but it is broken up into sections. We didn't really dwell on that, did we? Um, the first section, we're looking at paintings at the moment, but there are um, sections on prints, posters, drawings. There's an interview with the artist at the back and some other photos. My favourite section is the posters. We'll come to that. But yeah, at the moment, let's just carry on. I think you recognise these guys, Iggy Pop and David Bowie. Some other famous people here. Really like her style. Slightly blue skin. Here's another one of these like tracing paper jobs. Transparent. Has the image from the cover. This one's called Love Blows. This person's blowing hearts, bubble hearts, through a hole in her lover potentially. Um, here's some little comic strips. Same theme with the heart, the hole in the heart. 
now we're into the posters section so you may recognize some of the band names on these really like as I said the colors that she chooses the palettes that she uses it's really good So you're still in the band section. There's uh, various different bands here. More cartoon strips. <laughs> I really like that one. So now we're onto the drawing section. These are just her, I would say plain illustrations, um, mon monotone, non-coloured. These are really good as well. Nice crisp lines. And now we've come to the interview section. I really like this image. I use that on the thumbnail for this video, in fact. Um, so yeah, question and answer section. Yes, a question and answer section, which is really interesting to read through too. Wow, look at this Tara's tools. It's all about the paints that she uses. So those specific colors that I was waxing lyrical about, they're listed here. Different pens, she uses a Sharpie fine point. And here's the hardware for the digital aspects of the work. Here's a little photo montage. I'm not sure what each of these are. That looks cool, that poster. It's quite big, isn't it? Um, so yeah. So that's the end. So it's quite a short book, but it's a lovely book. And I love the art. So there we go. The art of Tara McPherson and what an artist. I think her work is amazing. It's really clean, um, stylish, very modern and fresh. Um, and as I say, it's kind of pop art, but with a dark side. Sometimes you have to peer closely into the art to see kind of the hidden message or the, the hidden darkness behind the piece. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time. Bye.